Um, and uh, there's like a there's like community centers. They're like big sort of centers, like you know, like uh, uh, they're almost like box stores, community centers. They're like they're like central big things um, that take up. That people maybe don't feel comfortable entering those spaces or something. They're like it doesn't get really utilized by the community. Um, so as, as I, I remember hearing a trend in uh, Quebec where there's community, community kitchens where it was not like for just the uh, people that you know, uh, need, uh, need food, but it's for every, everybody where it brings everybody together. Um, and I don't know if that's a policy thing that's uh, by the city to like legislate uh, food community centers, uh, but I remember it being a sort of way of tying a community together. And if you're creating sort of central spaces, uh, where you have uh, complex communities that are like some rich, some poor. Uh, those centers are kind of like kind of key to time. <coughs> um, so the, my main question is about uh, artist spaces and how uh, the city subsidizes slash uh, creates policies that lets those things happen. Um, I know the city was like any new development would get a, a sculpture or a, uh, a piece of art that was commissioned. It was a policy that that would be generated in in conjunction with making that commercial space or office space or whatever. Um, so is that something that is thought about? And uh, so I was a, an artist here ten years ago. I had an art space up in this building. That was a, it was like completely unused space. And the city hadn't earmarked it as an important space, um, but um, it, it was the artist. This is part of a gentrification discussion, but it's more than that. It, it was sort of earmarked as an important community space, um, and it kind of gradually became that. Uh, and so, how can the city make policies that support uh, those spaces to be generated um, in amongst all of the city, uh, like either artists? Uh, um, studio space for all, all around the city because it was hard to find studio spaces. But I guess the most important thing is that the cultural centers that create community uh, uh, need sort of financial, some kind of uh, incentive to be stable so that it ties the community together. Uh, so I don't know, that's a, like a big uh, concept, uh, but uh, I think it's, I'd like to hear your statement as quickly as you can. On that. My friend from Montreal just told me that 5% of every building here built has to have some kind of art fund. I don't know what kind of support does. So, within our bylaws, we do allow uh, for uh, uh, business to come forward. Uh, we do have um, our cultural programs. We do have programs for. Uh, I wouldn't say that the city has a specific, we don't have a specific program for our um, but through our different grant programs that might certainly have, like a group that gets some funding from us might offer that um, space within their organization. But, but definitely through our zoning bylaws, things like that, that's something that we have to be allowed to Yeah, so we do have um, funding that comes forward for amenities. Um, for, 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 so, how about the common space? And then I think the, uh, there's space in the building that's available uh, for senior organizations to use free of charge. So, that's in our down, the downtown area. So, just an awareness thing that you see? To make people aware of that existing is, is sort of the important thing because uh, it exists already. Yeah, I'm not sure what our promotion is on that. There was one space on the street and then the other. I'm not sure. I'm sure uh, Chad is a couple of things. I think I'm fairly familiar with it, but I know it is available. Uh, it's more of a meeting space, so not necessarily an artist space, but it's a, a meeting space for community associations uh, to kind of gather. Uh, we did something similar in Calgary with the Oakland Market, where we've got a lot of vacant space in that property because it's a market <coughs> development, and so uh, there's, we just basically make the vacant space available to the uh, community associations as they need. Yeah, I think that's a good 
So we're, we're at 9.15 right now, which is way over time. Uh, I, I would encourage folks to come down and perhaps have perhaps time, but I think we're going to call it quits. Excuse me. Yeah? I had something to say before a while ago, and now uh, whatever, guess what? And then, but you know, then you don't have people coming back when you say if you come, come around. But guess what? You've had people up there speaking. You've had the panel speaking. You've had people up there speaking, the panel speaking. And then people over there at that table twice. And I found one time, about two weeks ago, I had somebody kick my bike or my scooter and I don't like that. I called the police, and you know what? I got told, don't tell us, tell somebody else. And I think to myself, that's sad. When, who do you tell not the police? That something got wrecked or hit at. And yeah, maybe I got a vision disability, and I didn't see who it was, but they could still, every so often, be watching something and I I could be like other people frustrated because it seems like back and forth back and forth. We have talked before on the phone and I I welcome those conversations and I don't know if you want to talk about anything. Did you did you have a question for for the panel? I just asked the question, who do you call if not the police? And like I'm I've already tried to talk to the mayor on that issue. He called me today, but then it seemed like I know I didn't get in touch with him or whatever because by then when I did actually speak or try to speak to him, the secretary he was in the way. But I could say to myself, yeah, we could probably have spoken, but I could have also misplaced your number. Plus, I had somebody at the city hall tell me a couple, what was it, two weeks ago to call you, but then I said to the lady, you said something on the internet about being away because of your son, and I was very sorry to hear about that, but I could say to myself that it's very frustrating when I had somebody drive by on a bicycle, I was going into my yard, I'm on 1850 Quebec Street, and I could say they kicked my chair, and I said, hey, watch it, they said, shut up. So you know what, I'm very sorry, but I don't <coughs> come to these things just to sort of, I don't sit and watch other people say stuff. I'll tell you what, I'll stick around. So and I'm sorry, I've got a bus at 3.30. Okay, we have some time. I'm, I'm happy to stick around. I'm sorry. Okay. Thanks for coming, John. And we do have to close, but I want to thank all of you for sticking around until the very end. And I'm also going to be around to uh, chat if people want to have more of these conversations. And thanks, let's have a big round of applause. Thank you everybody for not bringing up Captain's point. <laughs> <laughs>